Hi everyone, it's Heather here at Creative Faith Art Studio and I'm back today to show you just um, my personal junk journal that I've started. Um, this is pretty, it's a pretty rough, uh, <laughs> pretty rough example, but like I think, I think I'm learning. So that's what I'm, that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Um, I constructed this out of chipboard. Um, I used some old, um, here, just old boxes from different kinds of drinks, soda pop, granola bars, uh, cereal, whatever I kind of have set, set aside. And I made the cover out of that and I've it's kind of a work in progress. Um, stitched in the signatures and I just used a lot of scrap paper, paper that um, from my scrapbooking days. Uh, some that I just don't really care for necessarily or just um, I just I don't have any I don't use it on a regular basis so um, you can see I've kind of put in some some uh, I got some of this stuff at a thrift store there's an old uh, notepad that had someone else's handwriting in it I thought that was kind of neat um, some tissue paper from some mail that I got there's a uh, little no, you know little um, pieces of from a notepad that I've stapled in again just things I found um, Here's a, a piece of packaging, packing paper that I put in there. You know, again, it's just kind of a mismatched, mishmash, whatever you want to call it, of all kinds of things. Um, I started to make a beaded uh, charm to go on the side, and I didn't like the way it looked, so I took all of it off except for this little clip, just as a reminder to myself that I should really work on that because... Um, because I, I would like to have something there. Um, so today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to work a little bit on the cover of the journal a little bit. I, I liked it initially. I had this uh, batik print uh, fabric that I used for a quilt project that was kind of a nightmare. <laughs> so I but I like the fabric. So I um so I'm gonna I I kind of put that on there. I put some tissue paper on and I had some washi tape and this. This was a collage that I made from an, um, my one of my baking binders that I have a bunch of recipes in. So you know, it's just. Um, I, but and then I wrote this quote on in my in some of my sharpie. Um, you know, one of these guys, these sharpie uh, metallic markers, which I love. But um, I don't, I'm not too fond of that on the cover. So I'm going to cover it up. So what I have done is I have created these paper packs. Um, they're available on my website. Um, they are just, this is the vintage farm is what I call it. I basically, I have a kind of a weird um, uh, fond, fondness of old aprons. So um, this is my um, paper pack that I've created from some of my aprons. I'm going to keep scanning them in and try to make um, make more uh, available for sale, but um, basically it's, I just printed this, um, you know, I, I, they're eight and a half by 11 sheets because most people have that size printer. They're high resolution uh, JPEG images. This I actually, these I actually printed from a PDF. And I think you can really see the texture in the fabric. Like, I don't know if you can see, that's a kind of a towel um, apron. The main part of it is a towel made from like a terry cloth. Um, but you know, I really, these again, I love, 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 love aprons. Okay, and then there's, um, these are some chickens that I painted myself. So these are, so there's some custom artwork in, in here. You know, this is the pocket of one apron and I thought that'd be a nice, you know, thing to cut out for maybe a tuck spot or, or whatnot. Here's another pocket from an apron. Um, and then some doilies that I found in a thrift store that I think are beautiful. Um, and then I just made a little collage. Again, there's custom artwork, and I pulled some elements from the fabric. I put them on the sheet, so, you know, if you'd like, you can cut them out and use them as, uh, glue them down as kind of faux stickers or whatever. But, I mean, I, I, I think they're cute. So, um, so I thought I'd share that with you. So I printed one full size, and then I printed another one um, here that is four on a page. So that way I have a little you know, a bit of variety. And you know, my, my journal's not all that big. So 
where where something you know like this big of a pocket is too big for my my little journal here but I you know I definitely could make a journal card out of something like this um, you know and and it would be it'd be usable so okay I'm gonna get started here these are some uh, postcards vintage postcards that I've gotten from uh, again from a um, an antique store when I was actually down in or no I'm sorry these I ordered on eBay I got from a gentleman on eBay but um you know these are um, from anywhere from 1907 to 1920 and um, this is the one that I want to be on the cover of my my journal so these um, these uh, postcards I actually downloaded from a, an eBay member and they really are very lovely. There was uh, quite a few in the purchase that I made, um, and this is something I'd like to offer available for scanning, um, if possible. Um, I just have to check copyright laws and whatnot. But so what I'm doing here is I'm kind of finding the elements that I'd like to use in the in my journal to cover to, for the cover. Um, just kind of seeing what I think works or doesn't work. Um, and I end, end up going with this uh, this little hanky here. I I love these. They're if you could see them in person, they're really really beautiful. They're so delicate, and um, you know again they're just lovely. I can't say enough about them. So after I get it all uh, cut, cut out and trimmed, I kind of mark the areas that I want to cut trim off. So I can uh, place it on the cover properly. I decided to overlap it a little bit on the underside of the cover. Um, I was going to tuck it underneath that tag, but I just the tag is down. It's glued down fairly well, apparently. Um, so I'm using a uh, I'm using this tacky glue, which I I mean I have like nine bo bottles of. So I know a lot of people use PVA glue, which is like a a you know book quote unquote book type glue. I'm not sure what the difference is between this tacky glue and um, PVA glue. Um, this seems to work really well. So, um, and I have tons of it. I also have PVA glue, but it's never been opened, and so I'm just uh, using what I have. So I, I decided to trim the or fold the corners in just to give it a little bit of a, um, you know, to clean it up a little on the edges. And I glue that down on the inside as well as on the outside. And uh, fold that over. So I make sure I press it down really well. And here is where I start working on the, you know, kind of that um, postcard. Um, so I find some. And I kind of want to back that, so I'm thinking, you know, that's me tapping on my papers and thinking. Um, I grab some cardstock. I have some scrap cardstock, and oh no, I'm sorry, I don't. I'm going to use that. Uh, the, this little piece of scrap chipboard was supposed to be a fold out on the back inside cover of the journal, but I never got around to placing it, and I had it right next to me. So this, I decide to. Um, I'm going to use as kind of a, a support or uh, something a little more sturdy for the this postcard because I, I do want to back it um, and give it a little bit of depth. So I get that all glued down and trim off the excess. And I really do, um, really do like the way this this postcard um, turned out the the um, if you could see this postcard in person it really is quite beautiful the um, the the kind of brown what looks like brown in the video around the illustration is actually this lovely gold um, shimmer to it and you know so again if you could see it in person it's it's quite quite nice. So I think I'm going to, you know, kind of mat that on something, maybe with one of my papers. And I actually decide to grab a, um, that's where that scrap piece of um, cardstock comes into play. 
So I found that cardstock and I um, I just used that tacky glue to adhere it to the to the background. I put I put a full coverage glue on because I'm actually going to make a pocket out of the um, the cardstock. So I don't risk damaging the. It'll make it the pocket a little sturdier. Um, and so and then, again, I'm going to get this I'm going to get this kind of lined up because. I really like the way this is turning out. So I take a little extra time to make sure everything's aligned. I trim this and then I do a um, I trim the corners and I'm, I'm really not very good at doing that freehand. I'm, I couldn't find my corner trimmer so just using it freehand. I'm gonna clean up some edges here. And then I use a um, I use a craft double-sided tape and kind of like a tape dispenser, you'll see it, there it is. And um, honestly, that didn't hold up as well as I would have liked it to. Um, it, you know, after everything dried, the glue dried, I had everything put together, and I, um, you know, went back down to my craft room and looked at it. it. It seemed like it kind of pulled away from the cover a little bit. I was able to stick it back down and it was fine, you know, but, um, but yeah, I guess I would have, I wish I would have done done that a little differently. I couldn't find my double-sided tape, like with the, you know, strips with the, uh, the adhesive backing. Um, but anyway, so now I'm trying to find some stickers. I want to, I want to put some washi tape in. So this washi tape is from Washi Wednesday, and I love it, and I haven't really had a chance to use it very much. Um, it's a nice wider, it's a little wider than um, the washi tape that I've had in the past. And it's got, you know, it's like medieval unicorns and, you know, it's a little romantic. So I thought it fit well with the um, postcard. And then I'm going to make a little tag to tuck in the front pocket that we, that I made. Um, so this is just a little piece of scrap cardstock or um, scrapbooking paper that I've had. And I trim it all up and um, try to make it as even as possible. Um... I want to put a little lace, um, a lace um, tie on it, but I thought the lace was too white, so I ended up um, using my distress inks and, um, you know, giving it a little color. This actually is just a, a dry erase board marker that I put in a little piece of the, um, not the hook end, but the loop end of the Velcro on, and it works really well. So if you're looking for a, you know, kind of an inexpensive way to make your own little distress dauber or whatever they call it, um, that's, that's a good option. And then I just add a little distressing to the front of the card um, and the back, which is kind of funny because I end up covering that up anyway. But um, I wasn't planning on covering it up, so that's fine, whatever. So once I kind of get that cleaned up, you know, I um, I really wanted to use the back of that postcard um, that from the from the back of the Victorian postcard, and so I decided to um, put that on the back side. That's why I distressing that one side was kind of silly. Um, so I, I put the the tacky glue on and get that all glued down and repunch the hole. Um, and get it all trimmed up. And I, I'm not really doing a very good job here, so you'll see I have to clean up the edges a little bit because I'm anxious to get it done. I'm kind of really excited in the direction things are going, and so I, here you go, there, trim it up. Yep, take your time. And I'm going to make sure that I got the right part of the postcard in and repunch the hole. And I'm going to go ahead and write my quote on there. And I picked a Bible quote. It's Psalm uh, 118, 24. Um, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice in it. It's one of my favorites. Um, just, you know, makes you feel good. Good reminder of how great each day can be. And then I put 
I'm going to put on a sticker on the front, and this was a little disappointing too because I didn't line it up and center it and I could because I was thinking of adding another sticker, but then I didn't add the sticker. So um, I do fix that in the, uh, you know, after the video is done, but you won't see that in the video. So I put some little uh, reinforcers around that. Um, I don't know if you can see, but my son is starting to try a palette knife on the cover of my uh, journal, wondering how those work. Anyway, so I put a I put a um, little bit of reinforcement on the, the hole that I punched and I put the lace through um, to make my, my tag. And that ends up going in the little front pocket I made. So, um, yeah, I think it turned out really nice. Turn off a little buzz and we're in business. Okay, so that is my new cover for my journal. So not too shabby. At least I don't think so. I'm pretty happy with it. So I covered up that quote that I, I like the quote, just didn't care for my writing. I got to use some of my new washi tape that I love so much. And then I got to use some of these new uh, these new printable things that I, I just made. And this is Isaiah right here. And then I've got a um, little tag with one of my favorite Bible quotes in it. So it'll just be my little reminder to be positive whenever I get in my journal. So thanks for watching, everybody. Leave some comments below if you like. I would love to hear from you. And um, if you're interested in these printable, uh, these printables, then head on over to my website and check them out. All right. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.